And this year's theme uh, has every bit the makings of a great action adventure hit. With bitter rivalries on land and sea to capture the spice trade, the rise and fall of empires, the countless colorful and dangerous personalities all playing epic roles. As we'll hear from chefs and writers and historians, and business leaders, and others at this conference, the food cultures that emerged from the relentless movement of peoples and ideas across the arc of flavor for centuries, from Spain in the West across North Africa, through Sicily, Greece, Turkey, and the Middle East, into India, China, Indonesia, and beyond, resulted in an unimaginably rich layering of food and flavor traditions that all of us in the United States are just really beginning to fathom. What's the dried shrimp for? Is that for us? No, or? that's something you want me. Let's see what the sambal looks like. What do we got here? Yeah. Pork. Uh, beef. Beef ribs. Yes. Short ribs. Sorry. And this is the fig and persimmon. Yeah. Pork belly and lemongrass, chilies, garlic, green onions, here lime leaves. Wow. I'm Chef Devaki from Singapore and what I have is uh, potato chaat canopies, uh, basically it's uh, a, a plain short grass pastry at the bottom and a spiced potato with raisins inside and then it's topped with raisin and tamarind chutney and then a little bit of uh, wasabi mayo sauce and topped with sprinkled with some cornflakes and some pomegranate for texture and color. 